Hi, and welcome back to the channel, guys. We are continuing The Expanse, season five, episode two, titled Churn. So that kind of tells us that it's gonna have something to do with Amos and his past. Because of, uh, yeah, we, we mentioned it during the, the last one, the, the short novella there, The Churn about Amos' past. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, we're gonna dive into that. Him arriving at Baltimore, at least, uh, and, and the crew is just, yeah, they've split up, all of them. Naomi, Naomi going to uh, to look for Philip, Alex going back to Mars, uh, Amos going back to Earth, as, as I just mentioned, and then Holden, um, he's just all alone now on, on the Rosinante. It was very much a welcome back episode. Uh, here's where everybody is, and we have now uh, put them on their separate little journeys. So what's going to happen with that? Do you have anything you want to get into before we, we start this one? Nope. Fair enough. Uh, then I think we're pretty much just gonna jump into it. Uh, oh, one one quick thing um, that someone kind of just reminded us about was um, this uh, memorial thing that we saw in the last episode as well. Uh, just real quick with Amos walking past, and then we saw the big. Uh, it looked like a hollow um, memorial sort of thing, uh, and that that was the ship that Naomi was talking about back in season four with Lucia and, and how Naomi realized uh, at that time when she was working with Marco and, and using that ship uh, and it blowing up and how, um, yeah, he's um, not the guy you should be with, Naomi. And, and then, yeah, that's she told us that story. So so it's it's linked to that. Um, and and that was, uh, that's good to know, definitely. And also that, yes, Amos used a toothbrush and not his, uh, not the knife that um, that guy attacked him with. Um, so yeah, it just made the scene even more badass in a way that he just used a toothbrush and fucking stabbed him with it. Anywho, let's jump into it. And you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for The Legend of Korra at the moment where we are three episodes ahead. It's all over on Patreon and the link is down in the description below. And let's... What's... Plants? Is this Mako doing his thing again, or Philip? <gasps> hey, drama! Don't worry about what I want, worry about what I am due. Oof. I am Kamina Drama. You respect <laughs> my claim, or you die and become a story I tell the next captain. Or maybe we finish you. I tried. See what happens. When you make it easy. What will be the fun in that? <laughs> so drama has kind of gone back to being a an outlaw in a way, but also keeping the others in check. Um, yeah. How do you give them a chance to be polite? We will. But if they target lock us again, kill them. I think they just hit him with something that powered the ship down. Tell everyone I am in control of this area now. Yeah, boss man. Okay. Respect. Nina should be here to pick you up in a few days. Okay, so she's not. Fucking sleep at night. You people took everything from us. Oh, okay, they still took. Yeah, not never mind. Everything. The more you share, the more your ball will be planted. That's what Doll said. Nina, you have a bounty on this ship. What ship? It's a tiny. Place Ashford's ship. Oh, it's oh, Ashford's no. ship. And of course, she doesn't know what. I never thought I'd actually find it. Still, that whole thing with the message up in the air whether or not she actually received it or who he sent it to, if anyone received it at all. It does seem like she kind of knows that, yeah, he, he died or he, he, he's gone. Um, and then she didn't expect to find his ship, um, but now they did. So, hmm. Baltimore, all right. Looks familiar. <laughs> Are you been there? What I mean with familiar is just, it, it looks like something out of our time. You know, there's still familiar buildings, but everything has got solar panels, at least. 
and it's just almost weird seeing a setting like this in Expanse. So, um, something we're so used to. A lot of people, though. Well, it is overcrowded. Yeah, like how many people live on Earth now? What was it? Like 11, Fifth. 12, more than that? Billions and billions. He's gonna recognize him? Timothy. Timothy? Timothy? Lydia was always waiting for you to turn Oh, up. yeah, definitely seen that actor before. I know I say that a lot when. <laughs> yeah. Timothy? Huh. It was mostly packed up. Only thing I have left is tea. Ira would approve. Depends on the tea. Yeah. Were you good to her, Charles? We were good to each other, boy. She, she went to bed fine. And when I woke up, she wasn't there anymore. Damn, that's scary. That's how she died. You need to beat me up to make yourself feel better about abandoning her here. Just do it. Was she happy? I don't. But there was so much she kept to herself. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna go on without her? T T sounds great. <laughs> oh, he's trying. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I knew when you got old enough, the Johns didn't want you. So they started you working muscle. But she knew that they would use you up till there was nothing left. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. Everything in the middle is a churn. Uh. She told me that. Hmm. Thank you for being with her. I spent the best years of my life in this house. The best years of her life too, I hope. She let me stay, but now that she's gone, the guy who owns it, he wants it back. Oh. What was his name? Eric. He's kind of talk some sense into that guy. Yeah. Back in. Yeah. Amos is gonna do something. Yeah. Talk to the guy. Talk, yeah. You know what your problem is? Oh, my dick's too big. <laughs> Crow the fuck up, man. You think that someone's an underdog? That means they're the good guy. Wow. Blunt. You can tell when they chime like this. What? That's noisy. The toy. They should buy the good toy. She's so cute. I mm. like her. No new messages. No new messages. No new messages. Oh, Holden. He's oh. Holden, I haven't been completely honest with you. I'm shocked. <laughs> Right, something's gonna happen to Monica. Sounds like a big trap. Mm. But it proves that someone is going after the proto molecule. God damn it. Yeah, you <laughs> you can't you stay can't, away. Yeah. <laughs> I can't you not. Really can't. Door is open. That's not good. Yep. Fuck. Yeah. I hate it when I'm right. There's blood on the fucking walls. Where did they put her? Howdy. Oh, you damn, were Bobby. I would have cleaned up the place. I'm a shitty friend. Amos says worse than that five times a week, and I know you'll take a break. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm pretty sure I already have. You have a problem with my place? You are snapping it's enough. easy. Right? You're angry, and it's not because of something I did. Well, it wasn't until now. Wait. Holy shit. Okay. She's going to let him in on what she's doing. Anyone buying one of those wants to attack a planet. Now yeah. you see why Officer Eller is funding me. This is important shit. I walk up and say, excuse me, sir, are you illegally selling weapons to the belt? <laughs> He'll talk to me. Oh. All right, Alex. That's good. He's going to help her out, I think. Tell me Miss Burden wants to talk. Man, why don't you go fuck yourself? Dude. <laughs> 
stop hitting me. <laughs> I am saying you're doing the job. You want to be my friend? Yeah. Go now. He's going to kill you. You can try. I thought you and I were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. He's still on this station. Somewhere. Oh, she, she's, she's alive. She's alive right, at least, okay. yeah. But... Oh, shit. Inside of a container or something? If you'd like to educate yourself further, Mr. Gavin, there's a good analysis on the topic by Brian Colton. I suggest you read that. <laughs> Whoa. He's just that guy. I will leave you with this. Another, oh, I've seen that actor before, Plan saw the deal, yeah. For every possibility. Blue you color? Know. White color? White color? Hmm? White color. Senior Chief Alexander Kamal. You pilot a stolen Martian ship for an Earther captain. I don't think we have much to say to each other. Shit. He also doesn't like being upstaged. I don't see how I could have upstaged him. You were there? Pilot to safety transit the soul ring. Yeah. Martian to set foot on an exoplanet. If you have an opening in your coffee schedule, maybe I could take you up on it. I mean, if that's not presuming. Huh. Um, no. Here. Duty calls. Okay. Babbage. Dangerously close to Cabbage. Already on it? Hmm. Find out why he's here. Okay. Oh, he's so in on it. He must be. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't touch Why? your muffin, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say it. Eat your goddamn muffin. Asteroid spotter. Oh, yes. Yeah, probably not going to be able to spot. Yep, nope, it did not. It flew right past. Father misses you. I know he won't say it, but he does. If you went to him, you could patch things up. So they didn't break up 100%. Well, maybe he understands that you would rather do anything than admit this part of your life is done. But hey, we've never met her daughter before, have we? Yeah. No. We saw her grandchild back in season one, must have been. Yeah. She was uh, laying on the roof and looking at the stars. Was it in a narrow ship? 50-50. Higher than that? Not much. Christian, you're on Luna to do a job. It isn't this. Understood. Good. Uh, now, let's get sheet. back to work. Guys, not the way to do it. Even if I could find her, I can't drive. Guys, her. who took her and run this at the very same time? Guys, what'd you do? Mm -hmm. There's a button I pushed it. That's really how you go through life, isn't it? <laughs> There's a signal coming in. There's a button and I pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's her. I think. Yeah. Monica. Could be a cargo hold or a shipping container. Shipping container, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well done. What is that thing? It's a... Light? No. Oh, oxygen levels. Good. Okay, so it's providing oxygen in that room. Oh, okay. Well done. But what if you open it and you just get sucked out? Pressure drop. Should not have done that. It'd be almost impossible to fucking find her. I got one of these warmers in the oven. Might be an atmosphere inside. That's gotta be it. Don't cut into it until the blister's in place. We don't need to ventilate her air while we're saving her life. You know I work in space, right? <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. Uh, oh, they're at the wrong. They're at the wrong fucking container. No. That's why it had atmosphere. This isn't the right container. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, what are you getting into here, Amos? Trying to figure how you're gonna get back out? What the fuck are you doing, Timmy? Hmm. You killed Burton for me instead of killing me for him. You got his name and away off the planet. I made sure Lydia was taken care of. I think we've talked about that before. That, that was you think you can come back? I'm possibility. Not Lydia would not want him sleeping in an alley, so I don't either. Boom. Mm. That's all this is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, shit. You should have just said so. You scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the old guy can stay. I don't give a shit. Let's get the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> if Amos was coming to my place to talk as well, I, I would be like, ugh, shit. <laughs> We're waiting for him to drink before, yeah. God damn, that's good. All this is really about the house. It's about Charles. Fine. Good. <laughs> well, except for that one thing. Yeah. You've changed. Yes. Here too. I mean, look at all this. Doesn't look like, yeah, working in the criminal underworld at all. Looks corporate. Do you remember when we were just street trash, sitting on the docks, watching the shuttles leave, wishing we were on them? I'll never forget that. Burton's fake ID won't hold up if you get arrested down here. I love you, and I miss you, I do. But show your face in my city again, and I'm putting you down. Wow. It's good seeing you again, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be the last time we see that guy. Nope. Something's going to go wrong. Oh, no. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank fuck. Good night. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Why did you slap that condescending smile off him? That's <laughs> public flogging, Skull. I've seen worse. Why would Mark Reinhardt do that? Venus is a long way to go for a target like that. If it were you, why would you do it? Why would you take the risk? To cover up something. Mm -hmm. Maybe not privacy then. I know what you're doing. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> yes. When life has not treated you with kindness, doing the right thing anyway always takes time. When you can even tell what the right thing is. I love you, Timothy. Oh, I thought so, yeah. But I'm not righteous. That's why Amos kept seeing the same kid around. Yeah. And kind and wise. I'll pretend to be her. You can pretend to love me enough to listen. Maybe that's enough for people like us. Oh, man. oh no. No. What do you mean no? I don't want to have to fucking hurt you guys now. I mean no. Jay, what a rascal. <laughs> yeah, you don't want any part of that. Nope. nope. Chrissy, I'm gonna need a favor. Chrissy. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go back to the ship and I'm not coming back to Earth ever. But there's someone that I should see first. And I'm gonna need your help arranging it. Who? Oh, that's why they were sitting and watching the ships leave. Of course. No! Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> you dropped your pen. Yeah! <laughs> Damn, that was such a good episode. Oh. And she's back. I'm back. <laughs> And that was episode two, Churn. Whoa, 
really enjoyed it and things are moving, things are happening. A lot of intrigue, um, different storylines, of course. And it, yeah, since they've split up, it's going to be a lot of different things. And um, hearing about, you know, everything going on with Mars, uh, the belt, uh, Amos' backstory, what Holden has been, uh, what's going on with Holden um, on, on Tycho Station and with Monica. Whoa, yeah. Damn, 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 damn! This uh, it's it's really it's good to be back, but man, it's it's uh, also like almost uh, overwhelming <laughs> with the amount of stuff that's uh, being thrown at us right now. But you've been taking some notes this time around, yeah, um, yeah. So uh, where would you like to to start, maybe? Well, the things I've written down are basically in, in chronological in, order. Yeah. All right, all right. So uh, the first thing I see of uh, drama, and then and then you gave her a little heart. Yeah, because it was <laughs> so nice to be back with her. Yes, yeah. And even though it was only for a short while. Yeah, just at, at the start of the episode. Yeah. Uh, the, the cold open, and, and then uh, and yeah, and they are doing cold opens again. I I enjoy that. Uh, I really do. And it was good to see her again, and and knowing what has she then been up to ever since she she left. Um, uh, yeah, both Fred and, and Ashford and everybody there. And then and, and she's back to being a pirate, sort of, um, but also kind of keeping some of the other pirates in check, making sure that she gets what she's owed, what she's due. Um, this is her territory, or at least the clan that she's with. Um, so, and, and like, she still, they still took things from, from that ship. They still stole. Um, but Took everything. Yeah, took everything um, except for their lives. And I think yeah. that that's what drama also meant. Like yeah, we, we did not take everything far from it um, and even help them send out a distress signal to the UN or something. Um, so so still, of course, um, being a semi-good person. Um, well, she's but, still serving some sort of justice, or not justice, uh, mercy. Like just showing them mercy in a way. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, but has also then returned to what is probably her old life as well. Yeah, and like the how the Belters have been operating for a long while before Fred tried to unite them and Doros tried to unite them and all of that stuff. Um, but I just believe that is something she might not have always done. That she's been showing the way of mercy in a way that that's oh at least yeah like yeah some sort of. Definitely, definitely. She, she's. I don't think. I think you're right. Yeah, she's not behaving the way she did in the past when she was being a pirate back then and doing her belter thing there and everything she's been through with Ashford and Fred and Naomi. I think as well. It just it um, it changed her and and now she's going about things a little bit differently and 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 um, showing people mercy. As, as and you're saying. maybe that's also why she's doing it, because she knows that the other belters might not show that sort, the same sort of mercy. Mm. And that's why she's kind of, yeah, doing the job, but still, you know. Keeping them in check and making sure yeah. that, that she can still look herself in, in the mirror. Something to that extent. Um, but of course, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we, we're definitely just just getting into to that part of, of the story again with her. Um, but they found Ashford's ship, and yeah. she said something about she she didn't think that she was gonna find it. Um, which it kind of leads me to believe that maybe she knew um, that he was either gone or missing, I presumed dead. Um, or maybe someone even found his body. But then again, we still got the message. Like what, like the thing that he sent out, it's no, no one is talking about it. She's not talking about it. I don't know if she has received it because if she did, then she would, I, I'm pretty sure she would also be telling someone else or just trying to get that information passed on that, hey, Marco's fucking throwing rocks at earth. But maybe that's the message that, that she's going to find on the ship. Hopefully, hopefully. And, and maybe that's what happened, that he just sent the message back to his ship. And now that she's gonna find the ship she's gonna then find the message and and then it's gonna come into play so yeah i let's hope let's hope uh, that that's gonna happen all right next thing up on, on um, your uh, list <laughs> that's a little bit like it's, it's weaved together a lot okay okay um so we have like amos and his okay. whole thing and so maybe let's get into that whole thing the uh, whole thing the whole the thing yeah yeah that was a big part of the episode and something yeah. that we were anticipating and expecting uh, from from the episode, so he made it back. 
to Baltimore. And then as we commented on, it, it, it looks sort of familiar, but not really in, in the sense that it looks like something that is kind of out of our time as well, but just evolved um, in some places and other places it has just stayed the same. Yeah, especially with well, all the, the slum feel like the, the, that slum feeling you kind of got from this one yeah all the prostitutes and all the street kids and all the drug dealers and whatnot yeah. uh, all the people living in poverty uh, and we know there are a lot of those on earth um because as we also said there's just too many people and there's not enough jobs and not enough to do uh at all so people are just living day to day and trying to get by and it's like they're doing now definitely it's just there's more people um so a lot of the same stuff is going on um but at first he went back to Lydia's house and there he met Charles uh, and, and that was um, a nice scene, but a tough scene as oh, well yeah. to get into. And um, I'm, he, yeah. start, he started out being so, you know, uh, Amos, he was being so... Amos. Amos, like, <laughs> it was just like constantly just nagging him about, did yeah, you treat her well? Exactly. And he, he wanted some answers, and, and that's what he was just going for at the beginning. He did not know the guy, so he was just treating him like he would treat pretty much anybody else um, and, and not really trusting him at first. Um, but not until he started talking and, and explaining, um, Charles, that is, um, how him and Lydia, they have been living together for, for 10 years or something. Something like that, yeah. And he, it has been his, like the best 10 years of his life. Mm. And he said that he'd hoped it was going to be, or it was her best life, as well, best years, sorry, yeah. as well. And um, I just think that I, it was very nice to see the shift in, in Amos as well, when he could see that this man was sincere and when he basically just broke down in his arms saying like, I don't know how to go on, from, move on from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I loved her. You could definitely see that. And in, that really hit. Amos. Yeah, it, it, it was so clear to see on his face. And, and then he was just like, T, T sounds good. Like, he didn't even know what to say. No. Um, which is, yeah, we, we know that with Amos that... I'm sure, like, he understands a lot of human emotions, <laughs> definitely. I it's just He has trouble just um wrapping his head around it sometimes and knowing what to say and he's not used to being the the the, the guy who fixes the situation or he wasn't for a long time but then he changed and that's also what uh, as we'll get into uh, in, in a minute uh, with eric um he just said it straight up like you changed a lot mm -hmm. uh, what happened out there um so yeah that's uh, that was nice with the uh, with amos and charles and, and then we also learned of course that the house that uh, yeah. they were living in, both Lydia and Charles. Now Charles, he has to to leave it because it's not his house. And then there's this other guy. Um, and then we knew right away, of course, Amos is going to go and, and try and talk, talk to to, uh, to that guy because yeah. that is who he is now. And he's trying to be still and trying to do good. And um, and and because of, very much because of Lydia uh, and that he found out that, okay, Lydia and this guy, Charles, they, they loved each other. Um, as I, much, I, much with as they could because definitely felt I, I think uh charlie i think charles charles yeah. charles yeah he, he's he even said it straight out that well we loved each mother as each other as much as we could mm. because we both had like baggage and yeah both those... very scarred from from life and with that said that's shut the fuck up sorry my my stomach is just completely i don't know if you if, if you've heard it or been hearing it through the it's entire just, video it's just it won't shut up it, and i can't do anything it's just um i guess i ate something that upset it but yeah um charles even said it straight out with the whole thing that the uh, uh they had some past stuff both of them of yeah, yeah. So they are earthers i think most earthers that are not rich they are just um living tough lives and especially with Lydia uh, she was a, a not a street boy but like a street woman was I don't know a prostitute <sighs> it's really distracting me yeah Lydia was a woman of the streets I'm pretty sure mm. and yeah. that definitely had 
yes, its so, effects. Exactly. So what Charles just said was that, yeah, uh, there was a lot of stuff she was still keeping uh, close to the chest and that I didn't know about. Um, but I would like to think that she was happy as well, um, as much as, as she could be. Um, so, but yeah, still Amos, he then decided to to go and, and look into this whole thing. At first he was just sitting and observing the streets and, and the dealers and everything. And then he, he approached one of them and that then led him to um, the guy at, at the top, uh, Eric. And we then found out that they knew each other. Like very, very well even. Like very the, well even, yeah, exactly. Brothers. Exactly. And and he called him Timothy as well, or Timmy or Tim. Um, and, and oh yeah, and Charles did that also mm. um, when... Um, when first uh, those two met, uh, Amos and, and Charles, uh, it's it, or Timothy. It's yeah, uh, weird calling him that now, or not that we're still gonna call him Amos. And we did talk about the possibility at one point, I think, in in uh, an earlier reaction, like a few seasons ago or something, that maybe he did uh, take the name Amos. And Monica said in, in season three, I believe, that uh, she heard about. Amos Burton from Baltimore. He was some some kind of mob boss. That was obviously the guy that Amos then took out, or Timothy took out, took his uh, took his name, and then just uh, left that place. Uh, and and Eric was very afraid that he had arrived there to do something about him or like take things from him or something yeah. at least. He was just afraid, uh, and he got very relieved when they found out. Oh, it's just about the house and and the guy living there. Phew. But he still said that if I see you again, if if I find you again in my city, I'm going to have to put you down because if, if you get caught with that name, Amos, that's not going to save you at all. Um, so there was still some kind of threat there. And I, I feel kind of certain that it's not the last time we saw that guy, Eric. Amos is going to get involved in something, even though it looked like there towards the end when he contacted Chrissy. <laughs> um that he's uh, he's gonna try and or he's gonna leave and not come back. Um, but something's probably gonna go wrong before he can leave, don't you think? I don't know. We got it confirmed that Amos or Timothy he was ordered to kill Eric, and I can't help but think that it was because maybe Eric was kind of rising in the ranks mm. or something, and then made uh, some sort of uh, um, threat towards the. Real Amos, the mob boss, mm. and then the mob boss ordered a kill on Eric and ordered Amos or Timothy to do it. Mm -hmm. And when he got there, he was like, "Well, you probably something like you're my old friend, or let's just make a deal." Yeah. And this whole deal was just that you have to get out of here mm. and never return. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then you can take his per person and or like a yeah, his name, yeah, his identity, and get out of here. And mm. I was promise that Lydia is going to be perfectly fine. I will get her that house and mm. she's never going to have to work on street scans, probably something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's yeah. So you have to go and kill Amos for me. Mm -hmm. And then I think then Eric took Amos place in the criminal underworld because we definitely saw he did or he told us he they both came from that place on the streets. Like yeah, come both came from po poverty mm. and from from being uh, street kids. Yeah, yeah, and that's definitely not where he is now. No, then, and Eric. he even said so. They changed and like their lives changed. And him staying on on Earth just made him rise through the ranks and now yeah. he's suddenly very super crazy rich and it looks like it it looks straight up corporate as i said like he's some ceo of a company or something yeah company <laughs> that deals in coincidentally deals in drugs child trafficking and or, stuff like that yeah using drugs children and, and uh, all that yeah 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 so yeah now amos our amos is going to see someone yeah. Yeah. That Chrissy has to set him up with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then we also found out that the kid that he kept seeing um, with the woman, that was actually Lydia and Timothy. So himself and Lydia. Yeah. Um, there was also like when we saw it the second time, I was also a little bit like that. Didn't we just see this like exact scenario at the same place with the kid looking 
the same way and and the woman talking to him in the same in the same manner um and that was yeah so now it made made sense that it was just something that he saw and then we got the little flashback scene with um Lydia and Timothy sitting there and and that led into um Amos at the end yeah I I'm just going to say that I as soon as I saw him, or saw them mm. I was like that's Amos as a kid mm. Because I think the casting was spot on. I, I thought it looked like him as well. So my, my thinking at first was maybe this is just a kid that looks like him uh, in, in a situation that reminds him of what he used to do. And therefore, it's going to remind him of his past a bit more. It's going to be looking at something like, oh, that used to be me. Um, but then we saw like pretty much the same thing again. And then it was like, OK, it has to be something that only he is is seeing um so yeah it, it it made sense and wow yeah we are really diving into his backstory and and i love it uh, i think it's it's really great to see um finally getting to know more about amos because he has been a bit of a mystery throughout the entire series even though of course we love his character it, it's still like his past and every time they just hinted at it it was like oh just tell us more and now finally they're doing so yeah and it was also sorry i just keep returning to it but it was confirmed in this one that Amos was actually a prostitute. Mm. And when he was too old to be a prostitute, he was used as hired muscle instead. Mm. And it's just, it explains a lot about his character, especially the whole um, theory about him having PTSD and also explaining a lot of things about the, the whole darkness thing that was in the last uh, season. Where he was yeah. very scared in the dark, and, and he must have been like, put away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dark. And every time he 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 sees uh, children and and children either suffering or being hurt, like that, that's a fucking no go. Mm. Um, so it's yeah, um, it has affected him a lot, obviously, and it's a horrible fucking past and a horrible way to grow up. Um, but as Lydia said, if you can go through all of this horrible shit, where life will just keep knocking you down um but you are still able to do something good uh it's it's really really hard especially mm -hmm. when life is treating you like that then it's easier to just um yeah treat p other people the same way or just um pass that hurt on but if you can fight it if you can rise above it and do something good um yes it's hard but um it it also it's all it also shows you what kind of person you are and uh yeah i um i like that as yeah, well. yeah and that's... i think that ties very nicely into what she also said about you have like the slum mm. and then you have like the absolute richest of people yes and like in the between top, it's only the turn yeah and um we saw both here we saw the absolute slum mm. and we saw from the slum rose one to the top yeah someone like eric and, yeah yeah exactly and you don't really do in the middle thing you no. basically either do one or the other exactly and what i also think about what she then said with this whole uh, try to be a good person even though you come from slum mm. is like eric chose not to be a good person yeah he came from poverty and this horrible life and he chose to just keep on doing that horrible stuff yeah till he and rose even to benefit the top. Mm. from it so he rose to the top mm. and i just thought that those things just tie it so well together yeah and now his shit can just trickle down to whoever's on the bottom now um and that's exactly. just how it goes and it's on and on and on and on and on but yeah at least amos or timothy he was able to get out of it even though now he's kind of back and we have a feeling that he's not going to be able to leave just yet something's going to happen maybe with this meeting that uh Chrissy is setting up for him. I, <laughs> I still love that he's calling her that. Um, Avasarala, of course, we're, we're going to call her that. Also, that he's just ignoring everything she said. Like, don't call me that. Okay, I'm going to call you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let's then dive into the Mars things. Yeah, uh, absolutely. A little bit with, yeah. with Alex and Bobby. Uh, and, 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 and Bobby this... actually drawing Alex into it or like telling him about this yeah. stuff, showing him what's up, what, what she has been doing, working with Avasarala. And, and finding out the links between Mars, uh, the military on Mars, and the Belters, uh, and Alex, uh, he was definitely like, what, well, this can't be real, what the hell is going on? But then again, he hasn't been on Mars, he hasn't seen this decay going on um, that, that Bobby did. Uh, that was, yeah, everything just crumpling around her pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, and 
Now she's uh, really scrambling to figure out, okay, from where are they getting um, all, all of these weapons and something like stealth missiles, which is if you acquire those, then it's because you want to use them um, at a planet or uh, like fire them at a planet or use them in, in that context uh, where it's just... Yeah, um, some really dangerous stuff. But then they talked about what was his name? Uh, Sovater. Sovater, yeah. Um, that uh, he might be at the top, um, and and Alex thought that that well that can't be true because he's very 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 patriotic, and we kind of also got <laughs> that sense when when he then yep. met him and talked to him because uh, yeah he knew who he was. And he immediately was just like, uh, yeah, you uh, piloted a stolen Mars freighter or um, gunship with an Earth captain. So we have nothing to talk about. But Shit. Honestly, because then he asked uh, the assistant, like, yes. what's he doing here? And I think it's kind of like a, a, a front a little bit for him. And he's hiding behind uh, the patriot, the the, patri being a patriot. Yeah, uh, just a little bit, or at least using it to his advantage. Yeah, but then again, he was always a patriot. Is what Alex is saying. Even like way back when, when when they weren't dealing with Mars. Um, yeah, yeah, the, but that was yeah. not my point. My point okay, was yeah. just that he was still just using, or he was, he's kind of using it to his, his advantage that he's so patriotic. Because mm. then he might even start to excuse the things that he's doing for the greater good of Mars. Maybe that, okay, if he sells stuff to the Belsus and mm. Belsus wants to take out the Earth, and then they can rise in the ranks again. From maybe, the maybe. If, if he's, yeah, that deep into it and he even knows about what Marco wants to do, then then yeah, sure. Um, we of he course, must have been thinking about it. Yeah, well, we, we of course don't know yet if whether or not he actually is involved, but... It seems like it, and especially with him telling Babbage that um, look like look into what he's doing here, Alex, um, and that's what she, that's the the reason why she even approached him. Then uh, it it seemed like at first he was just being friendly, maybe, but she did notice Alex as well when yeah, he walked yeah. into the room. Um, so, it could uh, be red herrings. It could be a it, lot it of red herrings. It definitely could be. It definitely could be. But I like Alex and, and Bobby. They're working together on this now. And it's not just going to be Alex just scrambling to get the attention mm. of his family um, while he's on Mars that he's going to have actual stuff to do there uh, that's going to help. Um, so so that's that's good to see. Um, and Bobby is keeping busy as well. Mm. Uh, but also very, very much on edge because <laughs> yeah this is stressful shit and she's backed up against a corner um, yeah. uh, I just wanted to say that the guy who plays Sobotea I uh, recognize him from white color as a, like a, that's why you said white color yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't yeah, I recognize okay. him from white color and he played with um, um, Matt Boma if you know that who that is no okay yeah he it's a yeah, it's a cop show that I really enjoyed seeing a couple of years back. Okay, okay, fair enough. I like him, so and right, I just right. I, he has very distinctive voice, so it's just like I know that guy. Yes, all right, then yeah, we do that sometimes. Where it's just like I know that person, and uh, now you can place him. So yeah, that's good. But then lastly, Holden and Tycho Station. Shit, uh, that that escalated a little bit with what was going on. Um, he was just on the Rossi talking to the crew there. Um, and do you remember her name, the, the one that you really like? No, I don't. With the cute Belter accent. Oh, she's so cute. She's a <laughs> bit like uh, Tali. Oh, yeah, from Mass Effect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she kind of is. She like kind she's of is, a yeah. very good, very good uh, mechanist. Like mechanic? Yeah, a mechanic. technician or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And she's so happy and just cute. In every sense, and that's very Tally-like, I think. Yeah, yeah, but then she'll also throw the occasional F-bomb, as, <laughs> as we learned in, in, in the previous episode, when she was talking to that other guy who's also throwing around a lot of F-bombs um, and questioning Fred a lot, that guy. Um, just yeah. being very blunt with how he's talking to people, just in general. And just very black and white about stuff. That too, like that yeah, one. yeah, that too, that too. Um, anyway, he's on the Rossi and just uh, looking through, uh, no new messages, no new messages. Um, and then there was one new from Monica, where she's uh, still kind of digging into this whole protomolecule thing. 
And then, kind of as we expected, she got taken, abducted. Uh, something happened to her. And and then we 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 kind of spent some time there trying to figure out a hold and trying to figure out okay where is she, um, and it was a very good decision of hers to turn on her eye camera so that the, she could see that she was in a shipping container at least. And then apparently what she did when she tried to get out uh, and that sort of backfired on her because then the oxygen was just slipping out. Apparently that helped them find her. Because that's what Holden told her, that we wouldn't have found you if you hadn't tried to break out of the container. Uh, so maybe that was the blood that was flowing out of it uh, that we saw um, a little bit. But know. either way, thankfully, they found her and she was alive. Or they were able to inject her with some... Um, Hyperoxygenated blood? Yeah. Uh, and, and that kind of kick-started her system. And, and she was surprised that she wasn't dead. She's like, whoa, I'm not dead. <laughs> And yeah, thankfully. Uh, and now hopefully she can work more closely with Holden and he's going to take this seriously. And he can't step away from the saving people, no, saving the world No, he business. looked so happy. Yeah. Like he was so happy that she was alive and that he saved her. And it's just like... This oh, is what you do, Holden. Yeah. Yes, this is what you're good at. Being the hero. Just keep doing that. Keep saving people. Um, and I'm just tearing up now. Thankfully, he was able to, to save Monica. Um, but why the people who found out about her looking into things, why they just locked her in a container and didn't straight up just take her out, I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad. That, Maybe they're that trying didn't. to find out what she knows. Maybe. And they just had to put her somewhere while doing other stuff. Um, it's, yeah. Either way, uh, they rescued her and, and now they can they can work together and try to get to the bottom of this. Um, so it's just so many storylines going on, so much intrigue. It's almost hard to keep it all straight, but it's damn entertaining, all of yeah. it. Um, and I'm, I wish more people would watch this series. I really, really do. It's so damn underrated, uh, I would say, or it's just, it's not being seen by enough people. Uh, and that's very clear to see on, on some of the numbers and stuff um so yeah that's that's a shame uh let's hope that uh once maybe they wrap the series that more people are gonna watch it or notice it or maybe um amazon is gonna make a deal with netflix at one point and throw some of the seasons on netflix because that could really help them as well that's for example like a show like breaking bad wasn't popular at all until they threw the first three seasons on netflix while they were still doing season four, and then it just exploded. Um, so please do something like that with The Expanse, because uh, we really think they, they deserve it. They deserve all the views, all the praise. Um, so uh, yeah, but you guys, you're watching it. We're watching it, and we're having fun with it, at least. Um, but I think that's going to do it for the I one thing. just one thing okay. I forgot to say in the last one. It feels like they just amped up all the accents and I'm here for it. I live for it. Especially uh, Naomi in the last one. She spoke a lot of Belta and I was just... <laughs> mm, you love so good. You love that Belta Lola. Yeah, especially when either a drummer or Will Ashford, but that's kind of too late now. But Aww, you had to... Sorry. <laughs> but the ones we have left and especially Naomi, when she goes all Belta Lola, I'm just, I'm here for it. And yeah. In this one, also, it almost feels like they've ammed it up a little bit. Maybe had some, no, not even coaching, but it just feels like maybe it's just been so long and I've missed the, the distinct um, accent and I'm just happy to so hear happy. It again. Yeah. Because also, um, Bobby Draper, um, I can't remember her name, but um, her she's Kiwi, right? Oh, the actress. Yeah, yeah. the actress. And she just lets all of her. Kiwiness. Kiwiness just yeah. slip through and I'm, I love it. I love it when yeah, she speaks. Yeah, yeah. New Zealand, <gasps> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, so good. So good to be back. Uh, first two episodes, really, really enjoyed them a lot. This is so intriguing what we're getting into here and cannot wait uh, to watch the next one, which we're going to watch in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> watching two episodes today. And then we're going to have to wait for episode four. Um, so let's hope there's not going to be a big fucking cliffhanger at the end of the third one or something that would suck um either way that's gonna do it for this reaction and review of the expand season five episode two churned thank you guys so much for watching as always and we'll see you very soon bye bye